a familiar sight across the country. Teenage mothers out of school, begging for arms with their children also out of school. The hope for sustainable livelihood dims as they grow. This fact makes it very essential for government and all stakeholders to hit the ground running with necessary measures to arrest this trend. UNESCO's latest survey indicates that there are 244 million children and youth between the ages of 6 and 16 worldwide who are still out of school. Out of this, Nigeria accounts for about 20 million. Data shows us that uh, girls are disadvantaged when it comes to education. Uh, if you look at dropouts rate from primary to secondary and also from secondary to tertiary, girls are more at a disadvantage. And so uh, we are uh, bringing together civil society actors uh, in Oyo State, but also across the nation to discuss and aggregate their opinion, but also present it to uh, different political parties running for offices in order that they prioritize the issue of education. Civil society organizations are collaborating with governments at all levels and escalating efforts to reduce the number of out-of-school children across the country with special focus on the girl child. This is what people are asking for. This is what CSOs are asking for. This is what girls are asking for. Uh, one of our partners is also working with girls as well to see how girls can also, what exactly are girls saying. We also have the documentary component where we are also looking at the lifestyle of, you know, what are the issues for the girls when they go to school, transportation, issues around, you know, health and hygiene, issues around water and sanitation. So we're not just making assumptions. A World Bank assisted survey in 2018 estimated that 702,000 children of school age are not in school in Oyo State alone. The Oyo State government says it is putting measures in place to change this figure. It is high time we all came together to face the challenges affecting our common goal in the transformation of education and that of the state of the girl child, finding lasting solutions to them by taking a step after the other. First, I would like to remind all of us seated here today that education is a tool through which ignorance can be reduced in the society. Anything short of this is a caricature which can lead to a misfit. There is active collaboration with the Nigeria Union of Teachers at both the national and state levels to achieve more success from these latest efforts. We have had issues concerning uh, girl child education in Nigeria particularly in Oyo State, we have seen some instances where we have a high degree of um, uh, early childhood uh, uh, abortion, we have early marriage and the likes. Although the Oyo State government claims it has taken more than 60,000 children out of school in the past four years, it appears there's more that still has to be done, especially with a focus on the girl child.